everyone, it's Jennifer Trask, and we're here with um, a Kelly Ryan. Hi, Kelly. Welcome. Hi. And we're here to do a case study, a success story, um, where Kelly has graciously agreed to come on and talk to you about how she's overcome two really big um, problems that entrepreneurs find, and that is one is comparison comparing yourself to others. And the other is overcoming the belief that there's not enough time. Now, this is a big one, right, Kelly? I mean, ah, I'm so excited to dig into this um, because so many entrepreneurs find themselves in, you know, comparitis, as some people like to call it, and that feeling that there's not enough time and that, that the scarcity lack feeling that can come when you feel that way. Um, so I'm really excited that you're here today, Kelly. Now, before we get into this and how you overcame that, um, tell everybody a bit like about your business, what you do now, and then and then we'll take a backtrack to how you got to the space where you now are in like you know your business is starting to flourish. You're receiving so much easier, you're having so much more joy and fun in your business. Um, so tell us what is it that you do in your business today? So, uh, you mean what my business is? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what, it, what my business is, is I'm a registered holistic nutritionist or certified holistic nutritional consultant. You'll see both sometimes. Um, and I help moms, I help exhausted moms who, want their energy back and feel like themselves again and overcome mommy brain, you know, which is for anyone who's not a mom, that's basically brain fog, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, if you're a mom, you know what it is. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just do that through diet changes, nutrition, mindset, lifestyle changes. Amazing. Okay. Now when we met, because Kelly is, she's a member of the joyous journey she, Kelly, had, we, we've worked together privately before. You've been in some of the programs. And when we met originally, you were brand spanking new. Like you were a new coach. You had never built a business online. You'd never built a coaching business. Um, so everything was new to you, which can be a very overwhelming place to be in. Yes, yeah. very much so. <laughs> Okay, awesome. So take us back when, because when you originally started, you were not in the niche you were in now. You were very excited about a different niche, which is where you started to build the foundation of your business. Um, and you, you know, you got a brand up, a website, you started doing talks, you really, you know, the ball was rolling for you in that original niche. So take us back to when that was happening. And, um, kind of some of those challenges, particularly where the, the comparison came in and that time, because I know when I met you, you were like, you were, you're were you working a full-time job, um, you are a mother of two young children, and you were like, I, I want this to grow fast as possible mm -hmm. and get me out of my job. Um, so talk to us about kind of what was happening then and some of the emotions and, and, and what that looked like for, for you. Um. I guess starting out, uh, my original niche was, well, it's kind of funny, actually, I'm going to backtrack a little. My original desire was to work with moms. <clears throat> okay. So that was like my first um, feeling, I guess, or my first yeah. inclination. Yeah. yeah. And so then um, I don't, I, I think I was talking to my dad, who was also an entrepreneur, and he like he was going through some stuff with arthritis and my uncle was going through some stuff with arthritis. And so in talking to him, um, we were sort of chatting and it was like, no, maybe, you know, people who want to um, work on signs and symptoms of aging, maybe that's a better niche. Right. So that's where I went. Right. Okay. Working with uh, older people who were um, seeing arthritis and seeing, you know, age related health issues. And um, I was getting traction at that level. Yep. And after a while, I kind of realized that um, people in that niche, they don't really want to be online. And I wanted an online business. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um, 
And I also realized a lot of them are living on fixed incomes because they're um, retired or semi-retired. Um, and they've spent an awfully long time living the same way and just a lot of times don't want to make change. Right. 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 So I like it just it didn't feel the niche didn't feel right to me. Right. Absolutely. If you know, and that's when I decided, no, you know something, my original inclination. So I should listen to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number one, always Rule number one. listen to yourself. <laughs> yeah. um, my original inclination was to work with moms. Right. And so then that's, you know, even though I was getting um, clients, um, I, I was like, no, no, this just, this isn't the right niche for me. And so I made a switch, AKA I started a new business effectively. <laughs> right. Absolutely. I remember. Right. Yeah. And, uh, that was, that was certainly a hurdle I had to get over because, yeah. um, a, I was comparing one of my businesses to another business that I'd already had. Right. right. But then I was also, I was comparing myself to other people who were having success. Right. And, you know, and I realized, A, I had to change my definition of success. Ah, uh, that's a big one. Hey? Right. Yeah. You know, um, and B, after a while, I started learning, you know, something. Um, I don't know where somebody else actually is. It's just optics that somebody seems like they're getting a certain level of success. And I learned, I really, this really hit home for me when um, my husband was talking to one of his coworkers. Yeah. He was saying, oh, Kelly Ryan. Oh, I see her name everywhere. She seems like she's really got it going on and she knows what she's doing and da, da, da. And I'm like, me, what? I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's right. I do. Uh, yes, I totally do. Right. But right. it's just and meanwhile, funny. You, you had just changed niches. And so in the back end, you had felt not like that. That's why it was such a yeah, startling I, comment to you. Exactly. Right. And yeah. um, that's when it really made me realize that people don't know what you're going like. People don't know where you are. People don't know if you've got a full roster or if you've got one person. Or yeah. none, no people, you know? And so when you're looking at all these other people who seem like major, major successes, you don't know what they've got going on. So there's no point in comparing yourself because, um, you know, your journey is your journey mm. and it's very personal. Um, and you know something? Yeah, that person who seems like they're a total success, A, maybe they're not. B, maybe they are single and 20 years old and you know are putting all their energy into it and then I don't know maybe they burn out in six months like you just you don't know what someone else is going through and your story is not their story so you can't compare yourself right absolutely um and I love that you brought that up because I feel particularly in the online world and this is something I'm constantly preaching to people is you know, um, don't believe appearances. They're not always as they seem. And, yeah. you know, so, so, some, so maybe the, there could be someone who really is the success that they seem to be. Um, oftentimes, not so much, or you don't really know, like, how much are they spending to make that much profit? There's a lot of people who, you know, they have big numbers in their launches or things, but they spent close to that amount to make it, right? So then, Right. It's not even really a more pro profitable business or um, it could be that it took them many years to get to where they are and it seems like they're sort of moving along really quickly. Mm -hmm. But in reality, you know, they've got this decade or two of experience behind them that yeah. helped them move so quickly or, or like you said, and, and which is one of the conversations we had um, is everybody's circumstances are different. So, you know, you as a, full-time working mom had a lot less time to devote to your business than someone mm -hmm. who could go in full-time. Um, and you also were starting from scratch in terms of knowledge, experience, um, both in building your business and 
in health coaching. You were new to both. So oh. you had a really big learning curves on two sides of the coin yeah. that were important for you. Yeah. And so how important was coming to this understanding? Um, Cause I think that this ties into learning not to compare yourself to others and understanding your journey is your journey and to the not enough time. So take us to where did you make peace with that? Because in the beginning you were not at peace with that. <laughs> like you were always on the ah time um, thing, yeah. but you have now found peace with that. So tell, tell us about what shifted, what happened so that you could realize actually there's more than enough time and I have time for this. That happened actually over time. <laughs> Speaking of time. <laughs> Touche. Duh. Right. But I mean, well, A, like there's like you're always saying, you don't know what you don't know. But yeah. when you don't know this, you don't know that you don't know it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> did everybody get that? Yes. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but it's, it's true because, you know, at the time I was thinking like, oh sure, this is easy. I'll just, you know, pop up a website and da 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 and it's all good. Right. And then it took, it did take a while and it took um, us working together really, you know, and I mean, not just like starting in the masterminds and then as well as working one-on-one -on -one, um, it, and the little incremental steps. I think I was talking to you the other day and I even said like, you're not always ready to hear a message until you're ready to hear the message. So mm. you, you know, which is why it's great that you keep hearing the same thing over and over and over again, because like when we first started working together, I was probably getting this message, you know, and then after hearing it so much time, then I was ready to hear that message. And then, that, right. you know, and right. it, it builds on, right. But that like, A, you have to be ready to hear it yes. and be like, the, it, it takes time to get all these messages. You're only going to absorb so much at a time, right? Yes. So it was over time of me learning that I really did not know what I didn't know. Um, and learning that, you know, comparing myself to others and shooting all over myself for not having enough time. <laughs> right? Love it. Yeah. Um, you know, it really, it would make me frustrated and question myself and doubt myself. And then it was really hard to be able to focus on work if that's the way I felt. Right. Right. And so then over time, it's like, you know, you would incrementally feel a bit better, a bit better after doing the work, yes. right? Because it takes work. Because it was, and when you say the work, what does that mean? That's mindset work, you know, um, letting myself be open to receiving, um, you know, the self-talk, you yeah. know, so instead of the negative self-talk, the positive self-talk, yes. of, you know, I yeah. am doing this. Um, it is working. It is, you know, things are happening for me, you know, and right. it doesn't, the realization that that doesn't need to be monetarily based, you know, I'm sit down. remember we were talking and uh we were saying about how like well things are happening like kelly you're booking um you are booking calls kelly you are booking live talks you've yes. done a lot of work to redo your brand you know to your change messaging. your business your messaging yeah. right you're learning right and these are all successful steps they are Absolutely. And, right. and so I'm glad you said that because, you know, one of the things that, Ed, well, as you know, in this moment in time that we're having this conversation, we're doing a manifestation challenge in the joyous yeah. journey. And one of the things that I talk about, and I learned this lesson the real hard way, but um, most people in manifestation are always looking for the manifestation so in entrepreneurial right. talk that is the client the cash etc and they're waiting for that to prove that it does work and and to feel good and to feel successful mm -hmm. but the problem with that is that those 
are the results of the successes of the day-to-day -day work of showing up mm -hmm. consistently, of booking the discovery calls, of putting out your regular content, of you know getting tighter in your positioning and your messaging, of doing all the things. And, yeah. and also of becoming the person who can get the results, which is the mindset work that you're talking about. And what I love about what you just said is how once, so once you realized, oh, this is me being successful in your business, it is it sort of gave you this peace of mind or this like yeah it was it was like is that how you would describe it that yeah um peace of mind and permission to let go of the negative practices like you know being stressed about time right and then when i was able to just let it go and release it then that's when, like, that's when I realized, you know, something, if I'm not feeling good, okay, I got to take care of myself. Right. Which is what I'm always preaching to my moms. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, right, you know, but also it made me realize that I can do more in an hour of feeling good than in three hours of not feeling good. Right. It warms so, my heart to hear those yeah. words come out of your mouth. Yeah. And this is why. To, you're talking about flow. So this is being in flow versus hustling. Yep. This is where the magic is. This is where, because one of the things you had said in our pre-interview is you used to push through things. Yeah. And now you've learned that actually, if I, so, I love one of my favorite sayings is sometimes you have to slow down in order to speed up. And this is what you've learned. So you've learned, actually, no, I'm not going to push through this. I'm going to hit the reset. Yeah. I'm going to refuel, recharge, and then I'm going to go kick ass for an hour or two instead of having that take days of just trying to struggle through and get it done. Exactly. Beautiful. And so as a result of this, how, how do you feel now growing your business versus then? Oh my goodness, so much better. Like, um, well, I mean, for instance, I just had my first client sign up last month. Awesome. Um, Congrats. Since thank you, since um changing yeah. my niche, you know. Yeah. Um, and I've also looked at started looking at things differently, right? So now I'm focusing on, okay, I want two clients this month, right? Instead of I want a full roster of clients. <laughs> right. Which <laughs> you know. And, and why is that your focus? Why is that your focus versus the full? Like, why does that, what does that change for you? Well, it's much more achievable. Um, it's much more realistic feeling. Um, and it's like, it makes me more confident and calmer. You know, it's like, okay, well, if I can get one, I can get two. Yes. Right. But to think of the, like of the thought of having to have I don't know 20 30 whatever it right. is whatever um, yeah. yeah that's daunting right. right so so I love what you just said here because this is a philosophy actually so this is an energetic philosophy this is also philosophy that's been proven by science in larger companies but it is so it's not about the fact that one day you're not going to have a full client roster it's really about breaking that down into doable chunks that so that you're building your manifesting muscle at a rate that feels good to you so you can still be present with your kids you can yes. still kick ass at your day job and you can enjoy the process of building your business instead of being under this constant stress yeah big time you know and it's funny like i from where I work, I have to walk up a giant set of stairs to get to my car every day, right? right? Yep. And if I look, if I'm standing at the bottom and I'm looking at this giant set of stairs, I'm like, oh my God, I got so far to go, right? But if I'm looking at the next step or the next little level, it's like, okay, I can do that. Right, right. right? Oh, that's a beautiful analogy. Yeah, you know, and one thing that I've found too, going through all this process, is it's actually helped me outside the business too, you know? How so? so, well, 
like I'm teaching a lot of this to my kids now. And wow. yeah, you know, like, okay, let's feel our emotions. Let's, you know, talk about it. Let's figure it out and, you know, work through it and then overcome it instead of, you know, instead of, I, I don't know, whatever, like freaking out or, right. you know, right. so but helped, also you feel like it's brought, it's, it's, it's actually helped your parenting skills. Mm -hmm. And I feel more relaxed even at home around the kids. Wow. Right. There's no more sitting on little red Lego chairs crying my eyes out. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is the perfect segue to cluing up here because I have no doubt parents listening in can picture that moment sitting on the red chair crying and now you feel more relaxed, more calm and that things are flowing. And one of the things you had mentioned in our pre-interview is that you, you do feel more relaxed and you are receiving so much more easily now. Definitely, you know, just even little things like, um, I mean, everything from a hug from my child to I'm getting discovery calls. Yeah. Right. And yeah. everything in between, you know, and mm -hmm. it just feels much more relaxed and in flow and I feel more abundant. Yeah. Kelly, I have to tell you, I am so happy for you. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. Um, you have mag a magnificent career ahead of you in this, in this journey of your business. Um, and I want to thank you for taking the time to share this because I know that people watching, um, are really going to benefit from hearing how you made the shift so that they can make it too, because, because these two things of overcoming, comparing yourself and giving yourself time when you they're so debilitating so when you can really let go of them you just it's like life is good again mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can you can then allow in what the universe is trying to bring you mm -hmm. but you're walking through the resistance from those negative beliefs so so kelly thank you so much where can people find uh find you so that if they are an exhausted mom they want to increase their health um, where can they find you? Um, you can find me on Facebook, uh, yep. at Kelly Ryan, uh, CHNC okay. uh, or, um, on my website, yep. www.kellyryan.com. Amazing. And if you are an entrepreneur and you would like to, um, learn the mindset shifts that Kelly's made, be sure to go get on the Joyous Journey waitlist at joyousjourney.biz. Um, I'm, I, I just, I'm so excited to help more entrepreneurs experience this because I can even see it in your body. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's just like from when, from the earlier days, it's just, it's yeah. so wonderful to see. So Kelly, thank you. Congratulations. And to the viewers out there, leave a comment and let us know um, what you're going to implement in your business. Um, that you've learned from Kelly. So thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.